When you're reading about history, yes, you can read about, you know, these meta narrative structures. You can learn about what ideas worked and what ideas didn't. But unless you're sort of experiencing, I think in the context of like good and evil, unless you're experiencing like an evil action now, you don't really have a good idea of what evil actually is. Does that make sense? Yeah. And I, I, I might as well throw out some other ideas I had on this that we were talking about before the recording, which is the idea of is it is it better to have sort of like a slow decay in morality and what we believe is good and evil in terms of you know progressing backwards or whatever way we want to measure that so is it, is it better to allow for that boiling the frog type of environment uh, over time and one way that can happen is if you have fewer and fewer experiences with evil then your barometer for what's considered evil is going to change necessarily over time because you just don't have those experiences or is it better in some kind of perverse way to have these like horrendous evil acts at least once a generation so that we can sort of calibrate our moral compasses and know that, yeah, that's what we reject mm -hmm. uh, rather than sort of slowly like slippery slope style, allowing more and more evil acts to be considered acceptable and normal because they're sort of happening in such a gradual way. 